Here is the last picture of a man who would lead 129 officers and crew on an Arctic expedition that would never be seen again. His name, Sir John Franklin. They were some of the top seamen at the time, and these are their faces. Images taken on the docks just before they departed. James Fitzjames, who was the happy-go-lucky captain watching over the Erebus, the flagship, under Franklin. And Francis Crozier, the ice master, the man with the most experience of the expedition, and he was captaining the terror, following closely behind. And so they set off from Portsmouth, England, into the Arctic, last seen by an Arctic whaler off the coasts of Greenland, and never to be seen again. One, two, Three years gone by and not a word from the expedition. And then there was worry in the halls of the Admiralty under Sir John Barrow and Lady Jane Franklin finally putting enough pressure on to get action. Over the course of the next several years, over 30 expeditions were set out looking for the Franklin men. Even other countries started sending ships looking for Ships like the HMS Resolute and Investigator, but this just resulted in more death and destruction. The Resolute being wrecked and the HMS Investigator still today at the bottom of the sea. And then, out of nowhere, the first clues were found at a place called Beachy Island. Three graves of the first of three to die. Because they were buried in the permafrost, their bodies were perfectly preserved. Stoker John Torrington, John Hartnell, and Royal Marine William Brain. It would be more than 10 years later that a British explorer named Francis McClintock would come upon a grizzly scene. It was here that some dozen men perished together with their lifeboat, waiting in vain for help. And in the end, cannibalized each other to the last man. While on my expedition searching for the lost ships, I wanted to see this place. It was called Boat Place. Alright, it's 45 degrees, slight breeze, and I uh, just landed here on this small lake, which is about two miles from uh, the area that I want to search, uh, where, I, where I photographed all that stuff from the air. So, uh, the lake is about a mile long, 
eight feet deep. And uh, it was pretty easy. Easier than I thought it would be. Had some low, a uh, little bit of fog, low clouds. And, uh, but that moved out just as I was coming in. Perfect. Check this out. Look at these things. They're all, this is all there is up here. So I just made a pile of those, tied her up. Works perfect. Big pile here. There's a couple of these little points, or actually about four of them I see, with these, uh, these rock piles. Great place to land the plane, or beach the plane. It just drops right off. So got the wind out of the north, planes into the wind, secured with two lines. For some reason it breaks free, big deal. Where's it gonna go? It's gonna walk around the other end of the lake. That's not gonna happen. Got all my stuff here. So I'm gonna be heading out pretty soon to uh, take some pictures of some cool stuff. This is, uh, this is really exciting. Can't tell you how I feel. I couldn't sleep last night. No one was going to do this flight, and I was wondering, you know, what's going to go wrong? What's is it going to be? Weather, wind, conditions, not anywhere to land. What am I going to, what am I going to run into? But thus far, it's been just, just an easy deal. It's too easy. So uh, the tide is up over there. I checked it out. It's about a two-mile hike, and uh, I'm ready to go. So uh, we'll turn this baby back on once I get there, and uh, we'll see what we find. This is the actual spot where the Franklin men died. Right at this spot here on this peninsula. There was a lifeboat, uh, whaleboat found here with up to 12 men that died here, skeletons. Here's a marker. This is the actual location where it happened. And if you look close, looks like there's a metal trunk in there. I'm sure that contains some makeshift coffin. Uh, they did autopsies on these men. Uh, bodies were strewn all over. Skeletons. This is where they came and uh, did uh, forensics on this and found that uh, there are knife marks on the bones, and uh, this is where it all happened. You can see there's a plaque here. To the memory of the crew members of Sir John Franklin's expedition of 1845, who died here in the spring of 1848. And you can see here... some type of trunk well, I'm sure containing the bones and remains of the men very carefully covered don't want to disrupt anything here wow it's amazing to be standing here where this happened. And as I stand here, as I stand here, that's to the west, that's to the north, and the ships uh, we're probably in that direction where that ice pack is out there. And uh, the thought is they probably came here and the ships were gone, so they, they really didn't advance any farther. Could be. Could be a reason. Or it could just be an arbitrary place where they, where they just gave up. I'm sure they were here several weeks, if not months, 
there are up to 12 men or so to die here. I'm sure they didn't all die at once. <laughs>